Okay, so we've got key control of our hero, but we still have a game where when you start it by hitting the run button, nothing happens because there's nothing in the world. So now we're going to learn about the add object method. And I'm actually going to go put some code in my world for the first time. Now, there's a pretty big difference between the world and the hero. And if you click back and forth, you can see here, hero has an act method by default, but my world does not. And that makes sense when you think about it, because if you think about the difference, a world is where things take place. And a world is not itself, you know, something that acts really. Um, you know, when you say, think about a game like Super Mario Brothers, characters, actors would be Mario, Luigi, Bowser. Those are, you know, actors, people in that case, who can do things. Whereas the world isn't like, it doesn't do stuff. It just is. The world is where things take place. And so the world by default has what we call a constructor. This right here is the constructor of the world. And as its name signifies, basically anything that I put between these two brackets is going to happen when the world is constructed or made. So this is the line that actually creates the world. If I take this line out, by the way, don't, don't, don't do that. That's not good. You're going to break everything. So we need that line to actually create the stage. And I'm just going to add some more stuff after. And as long as it's between these two brackets, we're good. I'm going to add a line that says add object. And then in brackets, I'm going to add an object to my world. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, notice that I've got a capital O and I've got a small a. This is what we call camel case. And in the world of computing, I know it sounds weird, but in the world of computing, um, it's kind of normal to start things with a small letter and then have a big letter to separate the words. Um, and they call it camel case because it's low and then it goes high and then it goes back low. So there you go. Um, and what I want to add to the world is a new instance of the hero. So just like that, I'm adding a new instance of the hero. So now I don't have to keep creating the hero over and over and over again. Now, if I were to close my brackets and say, okay, I want to add an object, new hero, like so, there's a problem. Because I want to add the object to the screen, but I didn't specify where to put it. So what I need to do is I'm not quite done here. I'm going to go new hero. I include these brackets because this is something you don't really need to understand yet, but those brackets indicate that you want to actually construct a new hero. We'll leave it at that for now. But I need to include coordinates as to where I want the hero to be. I'm going to put the hero in the middle of the screen for now. And so the middle of the screen for me, half of 600 is 300. That's my x coordinate. And then half of 400 is 200. That's my y coordinate. Now, if I put a semicolon there, it says, OK, I get that. And when I go back here and click, ah, now I have the hero. And when I run my game and I move all around and then I reset, it'll just come back. I don't have to keep putting it in the world anymore. And if I decide, well, you know, I want my hero at the bottom of the screen, I can go back here and put uh, 350 instead of 200. And then you can see he'll go to the bottom of the screen. Fantastic. So now I've learned how to make an object appear on the screen. So I'm going to take that knowledge and I'm going to apply it to the hero when I want to shoot something. So a couple things here. My hero is going to shoot something and he's going to shoot going upwards like that. So it's going to, I'm going to hit the space bar and something's going to appear and move up the screen. Now I've got to decide what I want to shoot. What's my bullet going to look like? And so I'm going to right click on actor over here and I'm going to find something to shoot. Now let's go get perfect. That's whatever that thing is is great. And we're going to call this bullet. So I've got a bullet class and my bullet is going to be a picture of that little dot thingy. Super. So I've got my hero and I've got my bullet. So the bullet is a new actor in the world. It's going to be something that interacts in my world. And what I want is to say when I hit the space bar, let's make a new bullet appear. So I go into my hero 
and here is the code responsible for moving the hero around the screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that code and I'm going to use it. I'm going to copy just this little bit where I said, okay, if we hit the right key, set the location. And I'm going to go to the bottom here, still in the act method, so I want to stay between these brackets, but right down here I'm going to paste. And I'm going to change this to space. And I'm not going to set the location anymore, I'm going to do something different. And right here, before I forget what I'm doing, I'm going to put a comment uh, that says this is where we shoot. Okay, so I've set it up to accept something's going to happen when the space bars hit. And this is no different from all the others. If this condition happens, do this. If this condition happens, do this. And so on. So now we're going to have if this condition happens, we are going to want to add a new bullet to the screen. So we've already seen how to use add object. If I go into my world, here's the code that adds an object to the screen. I'm going to copy that code, control C, and I'm going to go back to the hero, and I'm going to paste it right here. Except I don't want to add a new hero, I want to add a new bullet to the screen. And I don't want to add it at these coordinates, I want to add it wherever the hero is. Now you think, well, where's the hero? Remember here we had these things called get x and get y? These return the coordinates of the hero. So the x coordinate we want is the x coordinate of the hero, and the y coordinate we want is the y coordinate of the hero. So we are going to make a new bullet appear wherever the hero is at that moment. Now, I'm going to click off this line, you're going to see an error. The reason there's an error is because we are coding right now in the hero class. So this code that we have down here is trying to add an object to the hero, which makes no sense. We want to add an object to the world. And so it would make sense to say my world dot add object. But even that doesn't quite work because what we want to do with this game is we want to add an object to whatever world we are currently in. So here's a new one for you. Get world two brackets. And what this does is it gets the current world and adds an object to the screen. It adds a bullet at these coordinates. So that's a pretty involved line, but all it does is get the current world, adds an object to the screen, the object's going to be a new bullet, and it's going to appear at the x and y coordinates of the hero. Lots going on there. Um, you have to think about a game like Mario again is a good example. Mario has, I think, 32 worlds, right? Because there's eight different, or sorry, 32 levels, because there's eight different worlds and four levels per world. So it's not like you, you know you're going to be on level one or level two. You have to get whatever world you're in and add a bullet to that world. So really think about multi-level games when you're trying to understand that line. All right, enough talk. Let's see if it works. So I run my game. I can still move all around. And here comes the space bar. Hey, we got something. So that's good. Now in the world of computers, you might be thinking, well, that's not exactly what we want. You'll probably spend some time making yourself some nice drawings using the space bar. Lots of fun there. But the bullets aren't moving. True. The bullets aren't moving because we didn't tell them to. A bullet appears on the screen, and it just is. It, it, there's nothing in the act method. So if I want to make the bullet go up the screen, well, I need code that makes something go up. And I can go and, oh no, I can add my code here and just write it, but a smarter way to do it is to think, okay, have I gone up anywhere before? And we, yeah, the hero, look, we have code that goes up. So I can just take this code, copy, bullet, paste, and that says, okay, every bullet that ever exists is just going to go up the screen by setting the bullet's location, because now this code is in the bullet. I'm going to set the bullet's code to whatever the X coordinate is and whatever the Y coordinate is, subtract 5. So if I run this, we have bullets. And you can see that we're getting closer and closer to 
it actually looking like Space Invaders. And right now, you can see it doesn't make a lot of sense because our bullet and our hero go up the screen at the same time. So we can change that. Um, we would want the bullet to go faster. So if I change that number to something bigger, like 8, um, and then run, that's a little better. Not a lot better, but a little better. There we go. So now my bullets are going faster than my hero. And you can see there's still problems. You know, it's still at the top of the screen. So we're going to have to deal with that. And then uh, we're going to have to get some enemies in there to actually shoot. But now we are able to shoot bullets. So in our next uh, installment, we will get those bullets off the screen and uh, hopefully get to the enemy. All right.